Ladies and gentlemen, the new Continental GT Speed. And to tell us more about it, I am now joined by Dr. Matthias Raba, who is Bentley's member of the board for engineering. Hello, Matthias. Hi, Vicky. Nice to meet you again. Lovely to see you again. And I have had the pleasure of driving <coughs> the car around the track earlier on today, and it is undoubtedly agile around this track. How have you done it? Can you tell us a few more details? Yes, Vicky, it is, and we love it. Yeah? But before saying that, uh, I have to say you that from my opinion, and I think you will, the audience will agree to me, the Continental GT today is the perfect combination of driving comfort and agility already. Yeah? That means you can go 1,000 miles with that car, you step out and relax, and you can even go on a track. But the speed brings all that to the next level. Yeah? And the next level is even more agility and even better handling. And there basically there are two drivers to do that. One is the steering. That means we added a rear wheel steering and this is a totally new setup in order to, um, to, to, to uh, make the wheels turning in the, in the opposite direction, low speed or the same direction, high speed. That means you get agility, but you also get stability. That's one thing. And the other thing is torque vectoring. That means we can distribute the torque or the, the power individual to each wheel, and therefore we can steer the car. You can do it when you hit the throttle, and you can do it also when you release the throttle. And that's something you feel is absolutely great, and that's what you felt probably. Yeah? But there are some more uh, small things. Yeah? There's, for example, we have also a rear a lock differential, an electronic one on the rear axle, in order also to, to distribute the power better. We have an advanced ESC. You can switch it partly off. That means, especially on a racetrack, to have a little bit more, more fun or a little bit more freedom to drive the car. And we also improve further the, the chassis setup with a dynamic ride, really to stabilize the car even a little bit better uh, together with the air spring system. And all that together brings that recipe, which we absolutely like. A cracking recipe indeed. Yes. Um, and you've managed to add this extra ability, but without sacrificing any of the refinement. So can you tell us about that? Yes, exactly. Because basically we, we kept the comfort side. Yeah, that means we kept the comfort side, but we spread it more to the sport side. That means the spread is larger. And then with what I just was saying on the, on the, on the steering and on the torque vectoring, we made the car really feeling much more agile. And that's, that's basically, that's all. But with a good refinement, that brings really to the outstanding comfort which we have today, then really this more sporty side. Yeah. And I just would like to, to say at home as well, if you've got any questions, then please do write them in the box and send us your questions because we will be having the Q&A session in a few minutes' time. And Matthias, if you will excuse me for reverting to being a motoring journalist for a moment, yeah. um, one thing that I was really impressed with about the car was when it comes to hard braking and hard cornering, the car stayed so level. And also, you know, you can have a lovely bits of oversteer and it was really controllable. So yeah. how have you done all of that? Yes, basically, first, Vicky, I have to say, we did all really to, to keep also, also in that situation the driver really on the safe side. Yeah? That means with all, with the ESC, and with all, with, with the torque vectoring, we, we try to really to enhance the driver, to support the driver. But it's right, if you, for example, switch the ESC in the first stage, <coughs> then you can really get a little bit of drift, and you even can switch it, at least on a racetrack, not on a normal street, you can switch it totally off. And then you have a very well-balanced car, very predictable, very nice and nimble handling. And uh, to be honest, that's, for me, it's the ultimate GT Bentley ever had and, and, and has presently or in future. And uh, no, and that brings it all together. And, and you are right, that's a Bentley really you can drift with. Yeah, I think you experience it in yeah. the morning. I, I also, and it's really fun. Yeah? It's, it's so, so nice and so easy to handle. It's really fun. Yeah, my kind of Bentley. Yeah. Now, your team also worked on the iconic W12 engine. So can you explain a little bit more about what's been done there? Yeah, we, we love the 12-cylinder engine. Adrian mentioned that yeah, we have sold more than 100,000 uh, over a lifetime. And uh, we mod made it even more powerful, this engine. That means uh, we have a 4% increase in power. We have now 659 horsepower with 900 newton meter of torque. And that gives really an extraordinary uh, or fantastic power, it's a very sovereign, drive, effortless driving, as we like to say. Uh, but it's also the most advanced 12-cylinder in the world. Um, it has uh, this power refinement, but it's also very economical. Yeah? That means we have a cylinder deactivation. We can deactivate one bank of that engine. Yeah? That means we can deactivate six cylinder uh, in a partly load, which um, really in in improves the fuel efficiency. 
And uh, all that makes that engine really outstanding. And then we also recalibrated the engine gearbox in order to have faster gear changes to be more sporty, but also seamless on the, comfort on the comfortable side. Now, last time we met, Matthias, it was at the launch of Beyond 100, which is Bentley's vision of sustainability for the future. So how does a new W12 6-litre car fit into that? To be honest, we think it fits really well. Yeah, because it's a, I think it's the cleanest 12-cylinder um, engine you can buy. It's a, it's a very clean combustion engine. And, and we are on a long road to beyond 100. We fully believe in beyond 100. That means we will have the cars. Today we have some cars already, or we have uh, this, this plug-in hybrid version. We will have more this year, more in the coming years. Uh, we will um, have our first battery electric vehicle by the mid of the decade. And we will have all cars 100% electrified by the end of the decade. That means by 2030. But it's a long, uh, long, long journey. It's not a zero or one. Yeah? And we are totally convinced in Bentley that means with clean combustion car, it definitely makes a sense uh, to, to have also a future or to have the way to the future. And the GT Speed is definitely the celebration of that, of the current Bentley. It's a pinnacle of the Bentley and uh, brings it really to the future. And I have to remind, uh, this car is uh, built in an absolutely carbon neutral production plant. Yeah? That means it's really also sustainable. Yeah, and what other ways are you working on to make this car more sustainable for the future? Yeah, as I said already, we think this car for a combustion car is pretty sustainable, but one major factor which is relevant for the future is that we also, on the total circle, that we look also for, um, for synthetic fuels, um, especially um, made, made of water and of, of sun energy, and uh, this synthetic fuel would, would really could, could reduce the CO2 or the carbon footprint of, of an internal combustion car significantly to nearly zero. And that's something we are working on that. And, and the good thing is, yeah, Adrian mentioned that more than 80% uh, or 84% of our built Bentleys are still running. And that means also that car, this nice speed, I'm sure this car will run for a long time. And with, uh, with um, synthetic fuel, with a carbon neutral fuel, uh, you can uh, approach all our Bentleys, but in a little bit broader view, you can approach all running ice cars in or internal combustion engine cars in the future. And that means that's relevant for us. We are looking for that. We are researching for that. And probably in summer, we can tell a little bit more details about that. Great stuff. Thank you so much. And that concludes the engineering side of things. But the GT Speed also has style to match the abilities and we caught up with three members of the design team who are going to show us some more details.